Hello, is this Mr. Locke? No, I'm not interested. Have you ever received a telephone call from a telemarketer that's so annoying that you could tell they're reading from a script? They sound so mechanical and they sound like a robot. Now, why do most people struggle when it comes to speaking effectively over the phone? The reason is very simple, because you've never been taught in school on how to use this device. When I believe the telephone is one of the most powerful communication tools that's ever been invented. Yet in school, there's no Telephone 101 or Telephone 202. We just learn from mistakes or learn from other people's mistakes. Today, I'm gonna to share with you three simple techniques that will give you more confidence when you're speaking over the phone. Doesn't matter if you're selling, it doesn't matter if you're talking to your friend, it doesn't matter if it's using it for your job. You're gonna walk away with some powerful insights on how to use this particular device. So technique number one, and that is use the person's first name. Now, unless your job requires you to use the last name, what I would suggest is you use the first name of the other person. Now, why do you want to do that? The minute you use their last name, it shows them, it signals them that you are a salesperson, that you are a stranger, that you don't know them, right? The minute I hear Mr. Locke, I know they don't know me because my friend, chances are, wouldn't call me Mr. Locke. Same thing with you. What would your friend call you? Comment below. Most of the time, what do they call you? They call you by your first name. What about your family? They call you by your first name, don't they? Right? Psychologist shows, research shows that human beings, one of our favorite words to hear is our first name. When someone, imagine you're walking down the street and someone calls and screams your first name, Michelle, you'd be like, oh, what's going on? John, you would look and say, oh, is that me? Exactly, it catches your attention. Right there, you are building trust. Another thing that you could do is during the conversation, you could repeat their first name multiple times. So let's say you're talking, hey, this is, this is John. You say John multiple times, right? Or Michael multiple times. That established trust, it builds rapport. So use the first name. Technique number two, listening is more important than speaking. Because when we are on the phone, we're not face to face, you lose that connection. I cannot read their facial expressions. They cannot read my facial expression. They cannot see my body language. So all I have is what I say and my tonality. So that makes listening very critical. So to speak effectively on the phone, over the phone, what we need is actually listening skill, to pay attention. This is why when you're on the phone, especially if English is not your first language, just like me, English is not my first language. If that's the case, this is why you don't want to be speaking over the phone in a noisy environment, distracted environment. You want to be in a quiet place so you can pay attention to what they are saying, how they are saying it. Pay attention to those cues. I know that's one of the challenges people have is they worry so much what they're gonna say next, they're waiting what they're gonna say next, they're interrupting people, but yet they're not paying attention to those signals, to those cues, right? But if you listen closely, if you pay attention, you will pick up those signals. You'll be able to pick up their tonality. So listening is actually way more critical when you're talking over the phone, not just speaking. So that's technique number two. Number three, ask questions with intent. You see, one of the things I teach my students, one of the most powerful things that you could do is to learn to ask good questions, leading questions. Whoever asks a question controls the conversation. Right? One of the best ways you want to get the other party talking is by asking simple questions and then you ask another question. Now I'm going to use a selling example in a selling scenario to illustrate because that's the easiest to illustrate the power of questions. So let's say I'm talking to a prospect, right? I might say something like this, hey John, first name. A lot of clients have been telling me because of the recent technological changes or, or policy changes or regulations, right? That's affecting their business. How is that affecting you? You see, notice 
that's a question. How's that affecting you? Or I might ask a question like this, John, I know you probably get a lot of phone calls like this, and so I'll be brief and just simply ask you a couple of quick questions. If there's a way that we could slash your cost by 10 to 20% in the next 60 to 90 days, would you be interested? A question, right? And if not, by the end of that phone call, no problem. I won't bother you again. Is that fair? That's a question. That's the power of question. Now, that's a question. That is asking questions with intent. So those are three simple techniques that you could utilize today to speak more effectively over the phone. At danlockshop.com, we have additional resources that could help you to gain more confidence when you're speaking over the phone, giving you skills that are not taught in school. You could go to www.danlockshop.com or simply click a link below to take advantage of some of these resources. If this is the first time you are watching my video, well, hello. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you don't miss out on future videos. Until then, I'll see you next time.